What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this really cool hue change effect that I've seen in a lot of montages and it's a really cool effect. I've seen them in a bunch of like prof more, more professional montages and I'm going to show you how to use that in DaVinci Resolve and make your edits look a lot cooler because I've been using this a lot. You could see in my past montages, I've been using this quite a bit and I really like this effect because it's just really nice so anyways let's get right into it so the first thing you want to do is you want to drag your clip in you want to get your music we have a uh, just a sample of music and we have a nice trick shot grenade launch trick shot um shout out to team atomic for providing these clips i'm actually just stealing this from the team image that i'm working on for them and the first thing you want to do is click on timeline view options you want to get the right settings you, you do not want them to look like i don't know how to get it well you don't want them to be like this you always want to have them like this and then you want your audio waves and you don't really need your timeline view viewing so anyways here it is here's the clip in the mon um you probably already seen it because you already showed it at the beginning of the video but anyways here it is um how to do a crazy hue change effect so the first thing you want to do is obviously go to the colors tab since this is a hue change effect and we have just the single clip here <clears throat> that's going to make everything easier but you on over on here you should see a lot more clips a lot smaller because you're going to have a lot more clips and stuff but anyways let's just you make you want to make sure that um over here on the right you want to select on the keyframes not this or that this looks kind of cool but we don't need that right now um we just need keyframes and we need for the middle screen or something you could call whatever you call it we it'll show up as curves but you want to show you want to click on curves and you want to go to the, either the second or the third one I recommend going to the second one because it's just regular hue and then it changes the color like this but anyways let's just go ahead and reset that first we want to get like a layer of color correction on this first because right now it looks kind of bland let's just tone down the, the lift a little bit just tone everything down because Fortnite's kind of a bright game, and I'm not sure about like how that looks, but here, um, we just kind of color for 10, 20 seconds. But yeah, that looks a lot better now. So, anyways, we here we could have the mini timeline, I guess you could say. But anyways, um, you want to go ahead and key, click on the keyframe for the corrector one. We don't need sizing because we're not going to be changing the size. You could do that, but I'm not going to be doing that for now. We're going to do this. And then what I'm planning is what I'm planning is make it go gray and then when it hits go into a crazy hue change effect. So when he's on the grenade, it just goes grayer and grayer and then the passage is going down too. That's it it's gonna go way up but so what we need to do is from here we need to already have a keyframe right we already have a keyframe for the going to black going to black and white we need the la very last wheel so we can drag that all the way until okay here's a good time so we just click on we to make a new keyframe. I usually just click on it once, and then it doesn't really change anything. I just I just clicked it, but it adds a new keyframe, and that doesn't really matter. So here it, we go on the rocket. Actually, we don't really need this keyframe anyways. So we could just go ahead and delete that. We could um start from here and go gray go keep on going gray until the very end 
Hold up. Keep on going gray. The fir first thing I actually want to chop up this clip a little first because it's kind the there's a failed grenade. <laughs> So let's start from here. Um, you could also cut off the music and everything. Let's just select everything, drag it all the way to the front. You don't have to do that, but I just want to do that. And it deletes our keyframes, but it's okay. Just click it once. And then go to the very end. I mean, go and until the piece scopes in before the shot right before the shot you see this sh like we want to kind of like right here is about good so now we just drag the entire thing down until it's like completely gray like like that drag everything down till it's completely just black and white or you could just have like a little bit of color left like this and this, I think I'll go with like this. That looks really nice. And then we just want to go right one single frame. And then we want to reset this and go to the current first second tab, hue versus hue. And we want to just bump it around or whatever until you find something that you like. And since we're we're looking at a storm, it makes everything a lot cooler. And if you don't like it, you just click the reset button. Ooh, that looks nice, but so yeah. That looks pretty nice. Purple storm. That looks pretty nice. You could just drag everything around since you're not really just going for anything logical. Ooh, the pink storm looks really good. Okay, so maybe that we stick, but so maybe this looks good. We could just go ahead and go like, go ahead and go like five more frames or like ten more frames, and then we could just go change this around again. Maybe this time we'll go for like. A green storm looks nice. Um, now like let's just go like five more frame, like um, not way more than five frames, but you you know what I mean. Like around right here, let's change that up again. Um. That looks pretty nice. Let's just go again. Reset. And one last time. Reset. You just want to keep on doing this until you've like got a lot and then it changes color quite a bit. But you do not want to change color too often because that looks very weird. So here, here's what the clip looks like. Oops. Um, here's the, what the clip looks like without the music. So that's good. But back here, I don't know why it's like in the middle. There's that. I guess we could live with it. Anyways, here. Hold up. It doesn't go to black though. So we definitely need to fix that. Um, let's just go to. Let's just go back to that frame, and then we could just go drag the thing down. And I want a little bit of color in it, but not none of the storm color. So let's just get the higher contrast points lower. And then we could keep the lower contrast points. So that looks pretty nice, I guess. I just go back, and then that should change. 
And when he hits it. Nice, so when he hits it, the colors just go crazy. So that's pretty nice. But I feel like he could go a little blacker. It's just my personal opinion, but I don't know. I kinda just like Just go back until Yeah, here is the keyframe. You could just go even like completely just full on black and white mode. I am See now that looks really good. We could kinda just um cut up the audio of this so it sounds like we just, just cut up the audio, or we could just delete it. I'll, I'll just delete it for now because we don't really need it. And here's what the final product looked like. And that did not take a long time at all, so. Well, we need to work on syncing, of course. I'm not going to do any velocity syncing for this one because... We see the 150. I'll just bump that. Okay. So that looks good. Now we could just take the end of this. Hold up. Take the end of this. So yeah, that looks pretty good. I probably would chop up some more things, but. This is just a tutorial of how to do a crazy hue effect, and that is it. it looks really nice, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I hope it helped you of course, and that's going to be it, thanks, um, I'm out, peace.